Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a custom property to populate your pipeline tag. So what I mean is, for example, if I click on this pipe here, we've got SYS, which represents the system, 01, and then the pipeline number, or the line number tag, and they make up the tag of the group altogether. Okay, so if I click on pipe number 2, you can see it's 1002 for the line number, and the total tag is SYS01. 1002 because this is system 1. This drawing is system 1. So what we want to do potentially is replicate this drawing, copy the drawing and paste it several times and then re-tag everything within the drawing with a new system number. Okay. So therefore if the system number changes all the pipes tags update to represent that system number. Okay. So for example I've set up a drawing property and I've set, created a drawing property called system system and I have called the system SYS01. If I change that to 02 and click OK, in order to update all the properties within the project I do a plant refresh ACQ property, this command here, and then update, as we've only got one drawing, update the drawing within this project project. When I click on this pipe now we've got SYS02. So the drawing property is mapped to the tag of the pipe. Okay, how do I do this? Okay, so the first thing we need to do is create a drawing property. So right click on the project, select properties. And in the general settings we have drawing properties. Here we can see drawing property categories and the properties that are associated with that category. So let's just show you how we do that. So to add a new category, I click add, select or a name for that category, and then add a row in that category. Give it a description if you like. So there we have it, we have a new category, video, and in that category we have a new property. If I OK that, it will apply that property to my project. And if I click on any of these drawings now, we can see that the category has been created and the property is in that category. OK. So as this is um, actually going to be system 01, I'm going to call this V, uh, V1, okay, and accept that. Okay, so let's just do a plant property refresh, again, set just drawing in this case. Alright, so now I click on there, we can see it's back to 00, or 01 for system, yeah which is great. So once I've got the drawing property I need to create a tag format. Alright, so in order to create a tag format I go back to my property settings or property properties, uh, project properties, sorry, and then go to the plant 3D drawing settings because this is specific for plant 3D drawings. Okay, And then we come down to plant 3D class definitions and then we actually expand, or we can look at the P3D line group to start with. Okay, So the tag for the line group at the moment, I've got it representing the line number. And the line number is actually going to look at the pipe run component tag. Okay, So that's going to replicate the component tag. All right? So that's quite important. So let's come a bit further down and look at piping equipment and you can see there's the pipe run component and we can see this is the tag format so what we're going to do I'm going to create a specific format which has the drawing property and the line number in that format. So let's look at this one here which I've created already. So I've created 
a tag format called video and I'm using that format in the tag format name okay so let's modify that and have a look at what I've done so I've got a drawing property this is drawing properties this is plant class properties this is project properties and this is an expression which can be defined okay so click on the drawing properties you can see these here's all my categories and here's the properties within those categories which I can use okay so if I select system and then the property system that then places that in my field for my tag I can have multiple components build up this tag so the next component I want in this uh, tag I want the pipeline group number the p3 line group number okay so to do that I select on the uh, class definitions I go p3d line group and select number and okay that and then let's add our new drawing property here so select video select video property there's our new drawing property so I've selected that one there and I've selected video and drawing properties I click OK it's added our new part to our tag with a delimiter of a hyphen okay so select that so let's just double check it you can see now we have some new properties in our tag alright I need to make sure that my line number tag is picking up the P3D line group number. You might find that this is needs to be changed. So you click on this and you just edit the acquisition rule and you pick the P3D group, which is this one here, and you make sure it's number. That is essential for this particular tag format. Okay. So once that's created, I can just click apply to make sure that's all accepted. And then just come back and show you again, just to remind you. I'm using line number tag format for the P3D line group tag format. And in that, all I'm doing is replicating that tag format that I just created in the pipeline component. The reason for this is if I want to put my drawing properties into the pipe, P3D line group numbers, I have to use it from the pipe run component tag because you can't use, well the drawing properties don't quite update correctly if you put them straight into this. Okay, so I'm just replicating that pipe run component. So if I set OK on that and OK that. So what we should see now is if I do a plant refresh properties drawings fine again we can see down here they should be all updated and we can see now the tag is now picking up the v1 as well okay in some cases we have to assign it just to make sure so it's good to get your tag format set up prior to making these drawings because you don't want to have to go through each pipe now that's working there look and reassigning it so make sure you get this tag format correct before you model your plant because you don't want to have to go around doing what I'm doing here for these four pipes on a hundred plus pipes okay so make sure you get your format correct first all right so now my formats correct if I change that property V1 to V01 for example, OK that, plant refresh properties, select drawing again. Alright, so now we can see that it's V01. If I click on there, we can see it's V01. So now that I've set my format up and I've reassigned my tags, they're all updating as they should do. All right, so it saves me a lot of time now that I've got this format set up how I want it. If I make a copy of these drawings, or this drawing, copy it and paste it a couple of times, I can rename the drawings. Okay, two and three. I can add those drawings to my project 
Let's turn to three. You can add them. And what we have now, if I go to my PIP02, we have the same systems, but at the moment the properties are still the same. So what I need to do, I need to put in there system02, v02. This is empty because I forgot to save it before I copied it. So again, go to my PIP03, change the properties. SY03 and B03. Okay, okay, that this time I'll use the same plant refresh ACQ co property command. Select enter, and this time I'll select project because we've got several drawings. Press enter, you'll see it flicks through the drawings, updating the properties. All right, so when I hover over this, you can see that the tag is picked up. The layer hasn't, but we're not too worried about that. Right now, we're just worried about the tag. We could map the tag to the layer in the future. But we can see the properties for that tag have updated because they are mapped to the drawing properties. All right. So I hope you found this video useful. Please feel free to contact Manor Machine if you have any more questions. Thank you. Bye.